I don't waste time, no, I make time All these people wanna hate fine, I'ma make mine While you sitting there complaining, I'll be training While you sitting there just waiting, I'm creating Yeah, yeah. yeah. sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable Yeah, ready to go man, lock and load Hey guys, welcome back to Steadfast RC. Today we're gonna do a little bit of tire testing because I think I found some tires that are, could be better than the Proline Hyrax tires for like half the price. These are the OG RC um, Crawler AT Pros and these are the Proline Hyraxes. They look real similar. Get my finger out of the camera. So these are the Hyrax. I'll put it next to the, the OG RC. See, they're really similar. The OG RCs have a tighter lug pattern and the compound is definitely softer and they're just a hair taller than the than the pro lines maybe like i don't know a 16th of an inch at the most and the ogrc's uh, are about the same width i would say so we're going to test them on the rocks over here i'm going to do my best come on focus i'm going to do my best to take the same exact lines with both sets of tires and we'll just compare them and see which ones do better because that'll be pretty cool if the OGRCs do as good as I think they will because they're, you know, like I said, about half the price of the Proline Hyraxes. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so first up is going to be the OGRC Crawler AT Pros. The rocks are all real wet because it's been raining hard off and on all day today. And so far they're gripping really good. Let's see if I can get up here. This is a pretty technical spot right here. All these rocks are really jagged. Usually it's a pretty good struggle with the 24th scale. Why are my lights flashing? Nobody likes that. Oh, I've done something weird. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. I don't know why when I turn right, my lights are flashing. So apparently this uh, all-in-one ESC and receiver has some sort of setup in it for blinkers that I didn't know about. I was messing around with this thing last night. Um, Trying to find a good spot to put a a light bar on it. But, uh, come on. I think I am kind of stuck. The spot we're coming up to right here is a pretty steep climb, especially towards the top. Oh, these things come with dual stage foams too. I forgot to tell you that. Nice dual stage foams. They feel like they're about right for the squish factor. That's steep. Check that out. Not even showing on camera as steep as it is. I'm gonna go over backwards here in a second. <laughs> See if we can get to the top. Barely got any weight on the front end right there. Yeah, he's just gonna... If I hit it with some speed, I'm sure I can get up it. Yeah, no problem. Over the top, onto the ground. <laughs> so we'll try to do the same thing with the pro lines when I swap out to those. So I just set that there with my hand on the edge of that rock because that's kind of a nice climb. Do the same thing with the pro lines. Got this pretty big gap right here. It's about two and a half inches. Not a problem. Just did this with the stock tires the other day and it was a lot more of a struggle. 
I don't know if we're going to be able to descend this without flipping. It's really dang steep. Look at that. You can see the water on the rock, and these tires are just holding strong. You can just stop right there and do a hill hold. That's got to be close to a 45. 45 degree angle, that is. I got in a jam there. I'm not going to get out of that. <laughs> this is going to be pretty crazy if it gets up this because it's all covered in water too and it's seriously steep. It wants to. Yeah. It's kind of one way to do it, I guess. made it down all right so i plan on going through here onto that rock that rock and kind of try to side hill up that i don't know if it's going to work out or not but we'll see bumpers getting in the way in the front there Thought about taking it off, but I don't know. It's nice to have some protection in the front. Now I've done it. Oh. Stock servo, stock servo saver. I haven't even glued it yet because I figured if I glued it, it might just make it burn out faster, but I might end up gluing it. I got the Bronco out here today too, and that one's glued. It hasn't burned out yet. Actually, that's a lie. That's got an Emac servo in it, I forgot. <laughs> that's why it hasn't burned out. This is going to be a little sketchy. Yeah, I'm just going to drift right down the hill, aren't I? I get hung up on the back bumper a fair amount, too. Like, if I could just back up a little more, I could get a little bit more of a run at this, but bumper's kind of... Ooh, are we going to get it? Oh, yeah, got it. Nice. All right, we'll do a couple more lines with these uh, OGRC tires, then we'll switch over to the Hyraxes. This can, this can be a hard climb right here because it's steep and off-angle. I hate how everything doesn't look so steep on the camera, that's annoying. And I wish I would have brought my camera holder today. I'll see, we're slipping right there. That'll be a good comparison when we put the Hyraxes on. See, it's spinning, but it's still eating its way up there. Much better than with the stock tires, like two or three times as good. This is another difficult spot for most of 24th scale. It's kind of off camber and loose and everything else. Really had a hard time getting up this stock, but it did it. And it was dry the other day when I did that too. This thing's just crawling up at no problem. Got some spin in there.
that rear bumper dragging again. I know I can just walk up this if I hit it right. I gotta get a little more left. Keep in mind I'm driving with one hand too, so it makes it a little, a little harder to get it going exactly where I want it to. Bet you didn't know I could do that. <laughs> get a different angle on this thing. Maybe I can see better. It's got to, it's got to get up here. I know it can. There we go, just had to bump it a little. You gotta get like exactly in the right spot on that part. All right guys, so that's kind of the hardest bits on the course I usually run out here with the 24s. And these are the OGRC um, comp. Wait, what are they? I gotta read them. Oh yeah, the Crawler AT Pros. So these are the OGRC tires. Let's go switch over to the Hyraxes and we'll try hitting all the same lines and see how they compare. Okay guys, Hyraxes are installed. There's the OGRCs, and we're gonna try to run the same lines with these as we did with the other ones. This thing will have a slight uh, disadvantage with the Hyraxes because of the wheel offset. So we're not gonna really factor in the tipping over because this will tip over easier now. We're just gonna try to um, take into account the traction of the tires, not so much the rolling over the rig. So here we go. All right. Hyrax tires, this is where we started with the OGRCs, and we'll go from here. And so far they're doing every bit as good as the OGRCs over that kind of rough, jagged section right there. Here's section two, the first kind of steep wall we tried. And we ended up getting over the top with the OGRCs after I gave it some throttle. Hyraxes are doing great right now. Yeah, they're every bit as good so far. And if I give it some throttle, we're going to bump right over the top, I bet. <laughs> oh, rear wheel stand for a second there. Try it one more time because I know these are going to get over the top. I got... I'll try it one more time. Yeah, so there we go. Hook the top just like the OGRCs. Move on to the next section. All right, I placed it there on that steep section just like I did with the other ones. No problem at all. Now this is that really steep downhill section that we did. The rocks are starting to dry out just a little bit because the sun's popping out on and off. But we still got water on them. Yep. Really good hill hold right there. They're not slipping at all. I can actually back up that if I need to. Uh, 
Got the same result as last time. It's just not gonna do it. Don't quite have the same amount of hook in the front as we did with the OGRCs, I don't think. All right, started from the same place as with the last tires. There we go. Didn't want to go up it quite as easy. There we go. I had a little bit more trouble right here with the OGRCs, it seemed like. But, like I keep saying, these rocks are drying out just a little bit. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Didn't think I was gonna get that one right it again. All right, I'm gonna. Nope, I got it again. I was gonna reset it by hand, but we can get up this. And keep in mind, like I said, I don't have quite the uh, quite the width I do on this one because the other wheels were slightly wider, so that could factor in a little bit too. But shouldn't matter as far as the straight up and down climbing performance. I'm just not getting quite the same level of hookup, I don't think. I mean, it's really close, but I think right now I'd have to give the edge just barely to the OGRCs as far as traction, just straight up traction. We got it though. All right, here's that kind of steep off camber section. Still got pretty good moisture on the rock on that side because the sun hasn't hit it. And we did have some slipping with the OGRCs if you remember on this section. About the same. Okay, this is gonna be our final section with the test of the Hyrax tires. This is that kind of difficult off camber with loose rock section. Really good. See, every time I want to give the OGRCs an edge for traction, the Hyraxes, let's do that. The Hyraxes seem to do just as good. I'm gonna hit this section one more time. It's a good test. I mean, that right there is pretty dang good. That's exactly where the OGRCs got hung up because these divots in the rock right there and there are like perfect for the wheelbase of the Gladiator. So I think no matter what tires you're running on wet rock, you're gonna get hung up a little right there. 
I had a little bit of trouble with this section before. See, and those just walked right up it. <laughs> Rocks are drier though, for sure, than we did with the last run with the OGRCs. Okay guys, so final thoughts after the test. Uh, I think the OGRCs I would give just the slightest edge in traction over the Hyraxes. Just a little bit in that one section where I was trying to use the front end to like pull up and around. These tires did it and I couldn't get it to do it with these. But they are very, very similar. I don't think you'd regret buying one over another as far as traction goes. But the thing to keep in mind is the OGRCs are about half the price. And the compound just feels really good. I mean, really good. And they come with nice dual stage foams. The Hyraxes, of course, come with their own Proline bead locks, which nobody really seems to like, including myself. They're okay, but I wish you could buy the tires separately and they could get the price down closer to the OGRC tires. So if I had to recommend one, guys, I'd say go with the OGRCs, unless you just want to support Proline for some reason. I would say go with the OGRCs, just save yourself some money and you're not lacking any performance with these. And I kind of like the way that the lugs are a little closer because that seems like it would hook up better on the rocks. And then on the outside lugs, you got bigger spacing for kind of the loose stuff. I don't know, just my initial thoughts. But anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope that helped you decide what tires to buy and potentially save you some money. So thanks for watching guys.